Well, the one that's having the um, signs posted in the bathroom stalls. What's really cool about that is we had a similar campaign that we were doing. We had orange post-it notes, and we always tell people to plot before you squat because literally a lot of the survivors on our staff will tell you the only time that a trafficker will leave a girl alone is not in just the main bathroom, but in the stall. And so sometimes that is the only opportunity that they have to have a moment to even think and to have something right in front of them is so vital because these women do not identify, they don't know that they're being trafficked, but if they see something that explains their exact situation and they have a moment, like just catching a moment is so rare. So it will help them say, oh my gosh, that's me. There's a number I could call, and that's tremendous because those calls have been increasing already. What's great about this is because what we have been doing since we started working in this whole human trafficking arena in 2010 is educating and switching perception because everybody is wired. Law enforcement has been wired and no fault of their own because men have been wired, women have been wired to believe that these women are out there by choice. So it has been a slap the boy on the hand and send him home to his wife, go home, honey and let's throw this girl in jail because how dare she? Oh my gosh, stop walking the streets. And so the perception that now they realize this is a little girl that has been sold since she was like 12 years old on the streets and these men now need to know better that there's no such thing. We have not yet found a girl out there working for herself. They've all been under the control of a pimp or a trafficker since they were 14, 13 years old. And so for men now to have that pause, I think what's effective about this bill is that it gives men the pause to say, I'm in trouble. And then they have to learn something about it. I think when people are educated and they see it different, every time I speak, I'll have men come up to you and say, oh my gosh, you just ruined it for me. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm so sorry.